but I just wanted to say to you guys, man, I hope everybody's doing okay. I've been doing fine the last couple of years, but I wanted to say to you guys that hopefully you guys are doing well. It's not really a therapy session, but hopefully you guys are doing all right. I don't know. I'm sure some of you guys are here struggling, but I don't know. For me, guys, mental health, you know, very important. Um, so I'm not doing okay. I need Raul in my team. No, that, that, that doesn't mean you're not doing okay. But chat on the real, on the real, I, I, hopefully you guys are doing okay, man. Um, because uh, a few years ago, I was like struggling, bro. Heavy. So hopefully you guys do well because I'm doing I'm doing my I've been doing very well for like three years now, but yeah, it could be rough. It could be really rough. So how many of you guys in my chat have gone through that at some point, man, with the mental health? And I'm not talking about it being a joke from like being a mental health from from a video game, but like real talk, like just sad or depressed or like anxious as fuck going through it right now. Bro. I, I, I got to tell you, man, I think I think the number one way to make your your health habits better is like routine for me, routine, like getting up at a certain time, like doing certain things every day. Like I think a workout five days a week really is going to help you. Um, I think dieting is huge. I think like walks are huge. I, I think the sun is huge. That's probably why, like, to be honest, I struggle the most in the winter every year. Because it's just dark out. I don't really feel like I'm getting the vitamins I need. The winter is fucking tough. I'd say a lot of you guys probably, like, from watching me, probably, obviously, if you play FIFA, you probably love playing football. So, like, getting out and playing football at least once a week is probably going to be really uh, helpful for you. It's all in your head, to be honest. Yeah, that's why it's called mental health. Because it's in your mind what's going on, right? So, sometimes you, you slip. Because uh, you lose it in your mind, man. For sure. That's why I was down bad three years ago, man. Four years ago. Because I was losing my freaking mind, man. Because I, I mean, to be honest, I think I had some... I think, like, you know... I personally, I personally, like, I have definitely anxiety. I don't have... I've never had any form of real depression and stuff. I mean, obviously, everyone who's watched this stream has probably, whatever age you are, had moments where you've been sad doesn't mean you're depressed there's there's in my opinion there's there's quite a difference between the two um but you know anxiety never existed before 2020 well that would be a shockingly stupid comment considering my worst anxiety in my entire life was between 2017 and 2019 so don't be a bellend bro um but yeah hopefully you guys are all doing well um I had two really bad years of, of mental health, I would definitely say to you guys, really bad um, before COVID. So hopefully everybody's doing okay. And um, if you're not doing okay, I would just say that the things I would recommend is finding things that helped me, man, were uh, finding a routine. I would say definitely, definitely, even if you're an antisocial person or like an introvert, definitely like doing some social things. It doesn't have to be going out like in the nights dude it could just be like dinners with uh some friends or family or um activities like again like playing football for me is really i think i think i i think you know if i look at it like in the in the part of the reason i was struggling so much i had a lot of stress with finishing school i think a lot of you guys in my chat probably are in school and shit that stuff stresses you out man it's not talked enough about like the education system no matter where you live like it it, it it's i mean obviously it's you know when you get older too like there's Listen, I understand there's going to be the comments right now. They're going to say, well, college is fucking easy compared to work or real life, right? That's true. That's true. But I'm just I'm just relating to the people that are, you know, the, the people that are in school right now are only going to be in school. So they don't they don't know that part of life. Um, and I think I think some I think some people have a harder experience in, in school than real life. And then I think it's the other way around. I think some people have an easy time in school and then real life hits and it's really fucking hard. So. You know, I think it's uh, very situational, but I think, I think like, I think university for sure, for a lot of people just stresses them the hell out, man. They always feel like they're going to fail some shit or 
have uh, some assignment due, and I think that really can like definitely really uh, elevate some some uh, stressors in your life. So, yeah, it's all relative, man. That's what I'm saying. Like that's the thing I think some people on the internet struggle to see. Like everything is really relative. Everything is situational. Um, you can't really like. You can't really like spin someone's health i don't know the way you want to see it right everything is really situational i mean even for you guys like some people i bet there's some things in this chat that people are like so fearful of or annoying like things that annoy you that don't annoy me or don't make me fearful but then there's other things like that annoy the shit out of me that wouldn't annoy some people in a chat so like it's the same thing with that you know um so yeah i always say like you know you guys could I think talking your problems, I think, I think a lot of times like people don't feel good mentally because they bought a lot of stuff that doesn't help either. Like, as I said, one of the things is the stressor of like the job or the, the school. I think a lot of times people don't want to talk about it and then they just bottle stuff and then you get that voice in your head talking and you're like, you're going crazy. So I think finding a good friend or a family member, I, you know, I think a lot of times people get like, don't feel well. And then everyone's like, Oh, get therapy, right? Therapy might be good for you, man, to try out. But like, for me, it didn't work. It did not work. I, I mean, I when I was going through it from 2017 to 2019, I tried three or four different therapists. It just didn't work, man. Like, I was going into this room, and I'm like, I, I don't personally feel like this person can possibly understand me, and it just felt wrong. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm giving this person $150, $200 just to listen to me. They're just writing on a notepad. So, for me, it didn't work. For me, what really worked is talking to, like, one or two of my really good friends and family, but... I don't know, man. For you, it might work. Try it out. I'm not I'm not advising against it. It's hard, man. You really have to get, like, I think, vulnerable and open with someone that you don't really know. And that, for me, just didn't work. So, it can definitely be a tool. I don't think it's a full solution. But I think uh, that's how I see it. And um, I know for some people that I know that have been, like, not doing well with mental stuff, therapy really helped them. Just didn't help me. Yeah, loneliness is a huge one for men too, man. Um, for sure. For sure. But like for me, yeah, routine. I mean, I, I, you know, anyone who's like, is anyone fucking depressed in here? Like all jokes aside, not depressed because you lost a game in weekend league, but like proper depressed. Anyone is like just really fucking sad. Dude, I'll tell you this. You guys got to try to do a couple things, man. Number one, you guys got to, let, let me tell you something, man. I'm going to tell you something that like really, really undiagnosed, something that really helps me, dude. And I think I've seen a lot of like videos about it recently is people going in the, the cold baths and stuff. Uh, you guys, honestly, I know it's going to sound crazy, but try to do cold showers or I don't know if you can get in an ice bath. That stuff really helps me, man. Like even at the end of the day, or you know, you're supposed to do it in the morning to wake up and get the fucking dopamine and all that. But sometimes even at the end of these like really long days, dude, sometimes I'll just go in a freaking freezing shower. That stuff really helps you. Like that's a natural thing that can help you. Um, and I don't know how many of you guys, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into a discussion right now of healthcare or like where you live in the world or what's going on with your doctor. But how, if you, if you have access to like someone that can run some blood tests for you, I would also do that. I personally, two years ago, like got to kill a rumor stop talking about it stop mentioning depression and people who don't know what it is who, people all right this is also the issue man so a couple of people in the world a lot of people actually decide that because they're not ultra sad that depression is fake let me tell you something it's real okay and the problem is because you 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 can get into this habit of feeling very sad that's in my opinion what it is like you get very sad because it's it just becomes the norm so I'm trying to give alter like there's definitely things you can do to not be sad. It can help you not be sad, but it's very real, dude. So don't be don't be an idiot. The same thing with Arsenal J who tried to tell me that anxiety isn't real before 2020. I don't understand that. I'm telling you right now, I was so down bad in life with anxiety. Like the littlest shit made me anxious for two years. It would drive me crazy. Go into a go into dude, I would go anywhere, man. I'd go into like a freaking anything would make me anxious for like two years. It was really crazy. So it was real for me. Um, so, yeah, I will say that the cold stuff, I think working out, Chad, if you guys don't run, you guys could try try to do some sort of thing that's going to make you sweat. I feel like sweating really helps you. And then dieting. But I was going to say, I was going to say, the, these are the things that helped me, bro. The cold water helped me a lot. 
the constant workouts helped me a lot. The playing sports, like social thing with friends, that helped me a lot. Like that, that just helped me. It's good to see people. It's good to talk to people. And I got a, uh, I, I, so every six months I get blood tests to get like my vitals and see what's going on. Dude, my vitamin D was so fucking low. At the time, I was literally the most sad, right? Like, really down bad, really anxious. So I, I started taking some vitamin D supplements, and it really helped me. Like, really helped me. I, I tripled or 4 x to my uh, levels because I just it was, the, it was like the dead of the winter. I wasn't going outside enough. So that, just check on the vitamin. Some of the times, too, chat, you could be really tired or sad because you're also, like, deficient in something. I don't know. Just if you, can, if you have access to do it, just check on it. Not everyone has access, but if you have the ability to go get a blood test. I think mine was like, I don't know. I think it was 15 or $30, but it was really worth it. Um, and I don't know how accurate those are, but let me tell you something. For me, it worked. Um, for me, it worked. So I think there's a lot of things, magnesium, but, but this is the thing with the mental health, right? Because this is, in my opinion, what's not said enough, right? You've got this whole industry now that's making money off mental health, selling pills, selling drugs, selling overpriced, like crazy expensive therapy. At the end of the day, man, the only person that's going to be able to get after your mental health is you, right? You can use, you can use tools to help you climb out of it, but you got it. You're going to have to do it yourself, man. That's what I've learned. Like, cause I've been feeling pretty good for three years. Only you are going to be able to drag yourself out. You need to tell yourself that mentally and you you have to set goals, set things to work toward. It could be the slightest goals. You could be like scared to leave your house. I don't know what you're scared of. Right. But just doing simple things. And like, if you're not working out, right, it could be like setting a goal to take five, 10,000 steps. I don't know. And just working towards and then building. I journaled for like two years. That helped me too. At the end of the day, I was so fucking sad and shit. I used to journal. So I would journal at the end of the day and basically just say like, okay, these are the things in my life I'm really grateful for. Right. So even when I was like sad or wasn't doing too well, I was like, okay. Right. Cause I think a lot of times, sometimes when people get really sad, it's like, Sometimes it's like purpose based. You don't really feel like the purpose of being there at the moment. You're like, why the fuck am I here? What am I building towards? What am I doing? Why? I, you know, like that's the questions you start running through. You just feel like you don't feel the purpose. I think that's also the, I think that's more the correlation with the sadness. The anxiety is different, but I think the purpose is like a for real issue sometimes, you know, my say was that I found a few hobbies and I think about it. That's too, that's, that's good too. I, in my experience, sometimes I found like, yes, it's good to distract yourself, but you don't want to do that too much. Cause then you can sometimes like, that's the problem. That's the thing with, with what I do for a living, dude, it's so crazy. Cause like when I stream all day and stuff, I'm like totally like wired out from the outside world. You know what I mean? So sometimes you don't want to like totally run away. I think gaming is good to do, but like, I'm like, I don't think it's good. If you're like sad and depressed, I don't think it's good to be gaming for 12 hours a fucking day just to forget about your life then you return to it and you're fucking depressed again. So like, I think it's like a balance, dude. You got to figure out. Cause I do think gaming is good. I don't think gaming is a bad thing. I think there's people that say gaming is not good for you. I think it is good for you, but like what type of gaming are you doing? Are you playing division rivals for 12 hours a day? That's probably not going to be good for you. <laughs> um, it's definitely still not good for me to be doing that, but yeah, feeling stuck is tough, man. Like, you know, but that's why like setting goals is going to be huge, man. If you set goals, like things you want to work towards huge, bro. It could be a financial goal. It could be like a athletic goal. It could like, I don't know. I don't, that's why the gym is so good for a lot of people, bro. That's why like, I personally don't, I don't do like max outs and stuff for me. Like the motivation thing in the gym is like just getting to the gym, working out, staying fit. A big thing right now is like, I'm playing 60 to 90 minute football games in the week so like i need to stay fit for that so that's what i'm working out towards but like that's why for a lot of people like working out is big because they can set goals right oh i'm gonna max this amount or oh i'm gonna do this amount of reps at this weight like and i'm gonna push the amount of reps and try to like build on it so that's why like it's good because you can kind of like it's a little goal man you know and even if you're sad all day and then you go and you do the goal and you're like oh this isn't like helping right at least you're like getting the purpose of your building something for yourself. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Those are just things that help me guys, to be honest. Yeah. Your anxiety goes away. Yeah. Even if it's a distraction, dude, sometimes, man, sometimes my anxiety was so bad in those couple years. I mean, I live with it, but it was like horribly out of control. Like I would be nervous in the gym and shit, but 
I don't know. Those endorphins will help you. I'm a huge believer in natural things, guys. If you don't know that about me, I am a huge believer in natural remedies. I think it's like the largest problem in America currently is that in my, I don't know about your countries, guys, where you're from. I know this stream is very diverse in countries. I'm a huge believer in like natural, you do things to make you feel better, like routines, things like that. And in my country, a lot of the solution is take this drug. And I do think in, in scenarios, drugs are very needed, like prescriptions and things like, yes, for sure. But not, not like Zaza, man. I didn't say Zaza, but I'm serious, child. I'm a huge believer in like tackling things yourself and like you can find remedies for yourself. Um, did not say Zaza though, bro. Did I? Damn, thank you. People are not going to want to hear it, but they have to lose the weight if they're heavy. That's true. I mean, dude, lose weight. Get after it for sure. Being, be, I, there's also, I don't know if this is going to get me canceled, man, right now. This could get me canceled. But right now, in this, I don't know what's going on in society with this, this, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not, you know what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say it because I might get canceled for this. I'm not even going to say it. You know what I'm saying though, chat. I'm not going to say it because you know what? I want to be here for my FIFA drafts all week. But you know exactly what I'm getting at. Be healthy, man. Get outside, bro. Try to eat a little bit more natural, less processed. If you do process only a couple days a week, couple meals. But um, yeah, man. I mean, it's it's good to look good. So you're gonna feel better as well if you look good, for sure. Nah, because you, nah, because I'm gonna be you know then I'm gonna be going on dates with George all week because we're both fucking banned. I don't want to get banned. But um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Repeatable 80 guys, repeatable 8510. It, it's it's a real person. Well, dude, let me tell you something, man. It's all about perspective. Like, that's the thing as well. When you send me something like that, like everyone's got their own battles. And um, dude, you are you are dealing with the craziest battle of them all. Guys, this guy was on meds for three years. He got off it, he was feeling better, and then he lost his younger brother to a car crash. Like, that is absolutely horrible, dude. I don't even know what I would do in your situation. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's all very situational. I wish you the best, bro. That is brutal to hear. Um, Kai, thank you for the seven. Dude, 100 push-ups a day. Do it, man. Even my skinny ass could do that. So. Dude, you don't got to be a supermodel. You don't even got to look that. Like, you don't got to look ripped. You you don't got to look skinny, bro. You know, just, just build a little muscle drop the weight i don't know man you know it's like you don't gotta look that crazy man for sure i don't think i could do 100 straight i could straight nah the most i could do straight is like 30 or 40 to be honest maybe 50 i'm fucking lengthy dude i can't do the push-ups bro anybody who's like five foot two they have a cheat code for push-ups man the five foot two people in the world five three who's fucking small in here bro you guys have to cheat cheat for push-ups man stream on rumble no 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 Taylor, what's good, man? Clark, what's good, bro? Thank you, man. I'm just saying, man. You know, it's it's good to talk about it. I think, like, for me, it, like, being able... I couldn't talk about this stuff like this five, four years ago. There's no way, dude. So, trust me, guys. You can, you can move past it. I think the thing as well, just the last thing about the mental health, like... I think if you're dealing with things like anxieties or depressions or worries, things like that, you, nev you need to understand you're never going to really get rid of them. You're just going to learn how to live with them. So that's the thing. It will get better, but it's not going to disappear. Like, you just find ways to, like, cope with it and, like, improve it. Like, you're going to have it. It's a, it's going to, like, I know for some people, I don't know, I saw this thing online. Like, some people don't have that, like, I guess that voice inside them. But, like, there's some people that are built one way. And then there's other people that don't have that, like, overthinking voice or, like, critical thought, like, thing right i think that's correlated a lot of the time like i personally believe in my opinion i'm fucking built different because i have that so those people are npcs right they just go yes no red light green light i don't know that's not how i think but so that's how you can look at it man even though it's fucking you up sometimes you're like oh shit man i'm built different all right low-key i'm glazing myself high key actually oh Oh, 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 it's okay, man. No, it's okay because you know what? You get online and you see all these fucking insensitive comments sometimes. These You got these guys online that are out to prove some point. I don't know what point they're trying to prove, bro. They're like, Me mental health is not real. Depression is not real. Like, I'm happy. Like, okay, congratulations that you're happy, man. 
what are you getting out of it, man? For, like, that's the problem with some people, man, online. I don't understand that narrative that people have, all right? But yeah, I, for, for a while, I was a weak kid. And you could be a strong kid. You just gotta... I'm still... I'm not a strong kid. I mean, I'm working towards getting a strong kid, but... You know? You don't want to be like Yorente forever, chat. So, you gotta... You gotta... Yo, repeatable 8510. Thank you, bro. Exactly. Also, for people struggling, don't get in the habit of looking around and ask yourself, why aren't the other people struggling? Guys, that's the, that's the most true thing ever. Like, everyone else is struggling. Like, for example... For example, right? Imagine this guy who just donated to me, and I don't want to fixate on this, but like, bro, this guy was just getting off his medication. His little brother just died in a car crash. Like, that's one viewer that just donated to me. Everyone is dealing with their own battles. And it's it's not it's not like like it's the saddest shit ever what he just donated. Saddest shit ever that he just said. But like, it doesn't mean it's gonna be that level of something, but which is that's horrible. It's unimaginable. I'm sending my prayers to him. But everyone, man, everyone's doing their own thing. Maybe some people got a situation in the life they're not happy with. Maybe some people got a shit family, a shit job, shit school, overweight, don't feel good, got some fucking health issue. They don't know what's going on with them. Like, there's a million things, man. So everyone is dealing with something. And a lot of people are dealing with, like, five things. But everyone's got something going on. And, um... All right, I don't know if I'll put shit pack look. Like, if your largest issue in life is shit pack look, you are probably thriving, brother. Just the, just the, you're probably doing very well in life if that's your worst issue in life currently. I pray for that time that that's my worst issue. I do. I personally pray that I'm sitting here every day unhappy with my life because my pack look is bad. I'm not unhappy with my life, but I'm just saying. Count your blessings. I'll take a free coffee. Guys, DDA Warrior works at Starbucks. DDA Warrior works at Starbucks. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's go. Hope you enjoyed today's therapy session, guys.